Hello and welcome to another Raggy's review. So um, yesterday for the first time I went over to the Stanton Cask. I've got somebody talking outside. Um, the Stanton Cask is a micro pub in the Ilkeston area of Nottingham uh, at the bottom end near Cotmanay. I know this because we walked down the hill from the Burnt Pig and the Crafty One down to the pub and uh, Andy says to us, Andy one of the happy drinkers says, it's 12 minutes down, it was half an hour uphill and uh, yeah, it was a bit of a trek uphill. But um, if I'm ever going to be um, to Ilkeston again, then it's great because it's the first port of call for me. If I drop my car off at the daughter's and leave it there, um, then, you know, although if I'm working at my daughter's and I'm doing the garden and I fancy a quick pint, I may well pop over, you know, these things happen. But anyway, yeah, at the bottom of the old Stanton cask, like an old shop frontage, Stanton cask there, going round. Walks into the place, first ever time visiting, and uh, walks straight in, four cast lines on the bar. Was it four, was it three? I'm sure it was four. I had three of them. I had the 8am breakfast, which was from... A collaboration between Lenton Lane and Magpie. Um, there was Jolly Boys Brewery and the Jolly Bitter, Yorkshire Bitter. And then there was, um, oh no, because I've got it on my phone. So let me just, So the other one on the bar was ATM Breakfast, Jolly Yorkshire Bit, uh, and Illuminati from there we go, from Full Match Brewing. I'm not sure what the other one was or whether there was only three. Um, I'm sure there was four, but uh, by that time I'd had a drink and uh, my counting prowess may not have been at its best. On the back wall, they've got lagers on the back wall, well hidden actually. Uh, Madri, I think it was Madri anyway, and some of the different lagers. You've got a cater for lager drinkers, even though at the forefront it's about the beer. Um, I think there were cider options and wine options there. Big room, lots of outdoor seating as well. Men's and women's toilets. Walked in, the bloke says to me straight away, Are you raggy? Uh, <laughs> I ought to have said no. <laughs> like I said in the uh, Crafty One review, um, I looked have gone there. Uh, no, mate, who's Raggy? And uh, I keep getting this Raggy thing. I have no idea who he is. Uh, and then just laughed. But, um, you know, no, I didn't anyway. But, um, yeah. And uh, lovely people who run the place. It's a lovely pub. You know, it's a good pub for... Um, all caters for all ages. And, and where it is, it, it's like the entrance to the, the Augustine Fun. You know, you go there, there's literally, Stanton Cask is where it is, literally up the hill around the corner, there's Weatherspoons, um, and obviously the big two at the top of the hill, you know, your Burnt Pig and uh, your Crafty One Bar and Bottle Shop, Spanish Bar's up there as well, although technically I've never been in, been in but I do know about it. Um, but a fantastic addition. Their one year birthday is on July the... 15th, uh, the Saturday, so they're having beers, they have, they've got a special collab with Red Dog Ales, which they went to the brewery to brew themselves to collab on, I think it might be the first collab that I've seen Red Dog do at his own brewery, um, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it's like the first one I've seen anyway, don't see everything on social media, you know, sometimes it can become a blur. Um, and then some urban chicken areas going on for the birthday so it sounds like it's going to be an amazing birthday I'm sure he says he's got entertainment going to be there they're really going to go out for it so fair play to them um, I'm, I'm hoping I can you know 
uh, drag the wife over on the 50, park at the daughters and, and just walk over and have a couple of pints and then tootle off home after that. Um, but uh, we never 100% know what we're doing anyway, you know, and sometimes I'm dragged into work, so, you know, the beer drinking gets put on hold, as it were. But yeah, fantastic place to go and visit in Ilkeston. You know, um, it's well worth supporting these micro pubs. Um, for me, micro pubs these days are king because micro pubs that are not affiliated to anyone are the pubs where people can go down. Um, you don't need bouncers because you can walk in and just enjoy a nice bit of atmosphere. An ever-changing list of, you know, an ever-changing supply of cascales on the bar. And literally, sometimes you might be lucky while you're there for one or two to change. Because literally, you know, they're coming to the end. And all of a sudden, uh, the next line goes on. They pump it through. All, all good pubs have always got extras in the cellar. And it's just a case of cleaning the lines. Dobbing that next beer on. Buff. Um... Although I would have thought sometimes that by uh, pumping the next one through, that cleans the lines for you. But I suppose, uh, you see it in pubs all the time, they, where they'll put the stuff through to give it the line a clean and then pour the, you know, and uh, get it going with the beer. But, um, yeah, Stanton Cass, fantastic, fantastic landlord and landlady. I think it was landlord and landlady, isn't it? Uh, definitely a landlord, wasn't it? But, uh, so, need to watch my mouth there, I mean. But um, yeah, I'm sure it was both the both landlord and landlady the pub, and yeah, it's a cracking addition to Ilkeston, and the fact that it's literally my daughter is literally 400 yards away. She lives in Cotmanay near some some church. Don't ask me what the church is, but um, so yeah, for me, um, it's a, a short five minute walk, around about five minutes anyway, um, straight across. And uh, I'm, I'm sure it is, sure it is. Um, although I might be getting confused, but uh, lit and I, I'm, I'm sure where it is, because I, I remember walking past that area last year when I went up. Um, or maybe, maybe I went the other way around to get to um, Burnt Pig, when I was going to Burnt Pig one day for something. But um, yeah. Definitely well worth visiting. Keep your eye out for July the 15th. Cracking little pub. Cheers.